Our next question comes from Carrie M, who writes, could you confirm whether here is an adverb in these sentences? Here it is, or it is here? Carrie, I think these are wonderful questions. Uh, and here is the short answer. In it is here, here is indeed an adverb. In other words, it's a word that answers the question, where? Adverbs are words that answer the question such as where, how, in what manner, and so on. How an action is done, for instance. Here, the action is the simple action of existing, being, or just is, uh, how something is in the world. So it is here. Uh, we can ask the question, it is where? It is here answers the question where. So yes, in that sentence, here is indeed an adverb. Now, there is another sentence that you've mentioned which looks very similar but is in fact a bit more complicated so let me pull it up on the whiteboard okay so here it is here is our example which happens to be the sentence here it is now this sentence looks quite similar to our first sentence which i'll put up also so we had our first sentence was it is here as we uh, spoke it is here here is serving as an adverb. Now, here it is seems almost to be the same kind of sentence. It has the same three words, they're just in a different order. However, something very interesting is happening here because in this case, here, let me circle it to get our attention on it, here is actually serving as the subject of the sentence in a very a particular way. It's what the grammarians call an expletive. An expletive allows us to change the order of the verbs. In English, our verbs tend to be subject verb. So here we have, for instance, it is. Um, can we go back and say that again? Here is, in fact, an expletive. And what this means is it allows us to switch the place of the subject and the predicate in a sentence. We've moved here from the end of the sentence to the beginning of the sentence. It therefore becomes a kind of subject. It's something that can be called a dummy subject. Uh, and so it ceases to be strictly an adverb and is now this new kind of thing called an expletive. Uh, and it allows us to say, here it is. And notice that this difference is significant because this gives us a way to say something like if we're handing a book to somebody or we're handing a flower to somebody, we can say, here it is. It becomes part of our ability to offer something to someone, whereas it is here is more of a statement of fact, saying where something is located in the world. So although these two sentences seem to be quite similar, they are also distinct not only grammatically, but in how we use them in everyday life. So I'm going to pull that back down uh, and, and just note, uh, Carrie, that this is a wonderful question because it also applies equally to the sentence pair, it is there or there it is. In the case of there it is, there is also what's called an expletive. It also allows us to uh, uh, invert the subject and the object of the sentence. Uh, and it is also used in a slightly different way than it is there. It is there as a statement about the location of something. There it is sort of directs our attention to something to help us to see it or to look at it. So I really appreciate your question because it shows an interest in the intricacies of language and how you know, phrases that we use all the time in everyday life uh, have interesting things to teach us about the workings of words.